her MRI showed uh, 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 cerebellum with a dragonfly kind of appearance with Bermian and cerebellar hemispheric vesiculatus, which were uh, uh, predominant on the left side, and there was also cortical atrophy predominantly on the left side. So, considering a DEE, her whole exome sequencing was done, which showed a um, missing uh, stadium. Uh, that was acting dominant of uncertain significance in exon 15 of the class. Uh, we find a lot of hypokinetic movement disorders much more common than the hypokinetic. So the, all the videos we saw all were hypokinetic. So in the infants and the children with epilepsies, if we have a coexistence, so it is majority a hypokinetic movement disorder. So now coming, so the main focus of this discussion is the neurobiology of the disorder so that we can, if we can correlate some pattern of movement disorder with the underlying mechan pathomechanism. So what we find that, you know, whenever there is a genetic variant, so there is alteration. So the genetic mutation or the variance alters the protein functions and the protein functions are very diverse. And it has been seen that the, the exact pathomechanism is not known, but what they have postulated.